to tell you, like your beard, like people are talking about it. Miracle Grow. I've been putting Miracle Grow <laughs> in it. It's working. <laughs> I look at this before and after. You look like a different, pro- but you've also lost weight. I feel like you look great, Roby. You Thank do. You. <laughs> I mean, what are you doing? I feel like you look. 10 years younger. <laughs> well, the beard is even is growing in. Are you yeah, drinking uh, a lot? <laughs> <laughs> the beard's growing in even more than uh, from last week where that picture was taken. Right. And, you know, we put it on social media and people are, either they love it or they hate it. Right. But I will say, I've been getting a lot of flack from people saying like, why are you being so lazy about not shaving? And I've never been able to grow a beard before because in right. TV, you it's actually in the contract you. that you're not allowed to have facial hair. Yeah. So I'm like, screw you. I'm going to grow a beard, right? What I didn't realize, I was screwing myself because of all the work that it takes. I'm doing so much more work than I've ever done uh, with product. So take a look at this. This is what it's like to grow a beard in case you don't know, ladies. And uh, a process I did not expect. Jeff, um, wow, I'm kind of shocked about how much work it's been over the past month with this beard. I do more with my beard than my hair. Yeah, it's a process. It's you gotta manage it, you gotta groom it, you gotta get it to your preference and to your liking. And it's a full time job, your beard. It has a mind of its own and just keep up with it and you'll get there. Yeah. You'll get it to where you like it. Especially because I feel like it's like war's hair. It's really weird and coarse. We're gonna take care of that now. We start by getting a shampoo. <laughs> yeah, we'll go over here and Okay, so now I'm obviously getting my beard shampooed. I had no idea you had to do this. And even better, next up, conditioner. Yeah, you have to condition a beard just like your hair. All right, so now I'm in the barber's chair and I've already used the uh, mustache comb to get this a little bit more out of control. And uh, Jeff is going to uh, clean it up a little bit, uh, give it some more definition so it looks a little more professional, but uh, I'm still growing it out, so we're just gonna make it look a little bit better. Presto, here you go. Final product. Take a look at this. Jeff, you really put some hard work into this beard. It was a challenge. <laughs> he says I have really coarse hair. But look, we had to edge around it, we had to shave around it, uh, we put balm in, uh, we put oils in, we brushed it, we combed it. I mean, it takes a lot of hard work to have a good beard. Yeah, you gotta take care of it, you gotta nurture it, and you mold it to, to your liking. And you know, at first, nothing is easy, so you gotta, it, it's training, and you know, a day at a time, you just gotta brush it and you gotta mold it. And I'm still growing it. Who knows how long it's gonna go, but uh, Jeff, thank you. <laughs> Are you gonna do, you have to do that every day? Uh, yes. Well, I will say uh, that was at uh, Rebels and Razors in West Palm Beach on Dixie. And Jeff was amazing. Two hours to go through Stop. that process. Yes, because he now had to. Now you know how us women feel, <laughs> right? He I had mean, to trim around long... here, cut it in. How I mean... long How long do you have to sit in the chair? If you're a blonde, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and if you're not a real blonde, you know what I'm talking about. It takes forever. It takes forever. Well, let's take a look at what some people are saying on the internet it's kind of cracking me up what some people are saying so you know robert he says beard okay with shoes would grow one gemini girl oh. <laughs> i do have one black hair that comes out of my chin oh, like a witch tmi it's true. it's true i have to pluck it it's true listen what you know, other people have been saying, like, I need to shave it, like Diane. Oh, Diane. Yeah. Is yeah. that Diane Evans? Yeah, she hates your, your beard. beard. I know. Yeah. One other one, we didn't put it up. She also said that, you know, beards are only for men who are trying to hide something. Oh. And she asked me what I was trying to hide. What are you trying to hide? <laughs> I feel like you're not hiding anything anymore. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I will say, like, for me in the beard, it's kind of been uh, a, a personal thing. Yeah. Because uh, I decided to grow it after uh, my partner left me suddenly and had no idea after six years. And I wanted to do something that was a reminder that we keep growing as people yeah. and change is good. So what better way than wake up every morning and see how your appearance changes? Well, I have to tell you, you've got the best revenge because you're looking hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. 